Hi, this is Sebastian from AndroidBit, and today I'll talk to you about WPA3, the new Wi-Fi security protocol. What does WPA3 mean? Well, as soon as you connect to a Wi-Fi network, you're using the WPA security protocol. Ideally, your PC and smartphone or tablet carry out the so-called handshake procedure, recognize each other and start a secure data connection. Since 2004, the most commonly used system is WPA2, which had taken over from WAP and WEP. It's using AES encryption and it's more secure than previous versions, but it has been found to be vulnerable to crack type brute force attacks. The Wi-Fi Alliance, the certification body for Wi-Fi devices, has recently announced WPA3. This new standard will ensure greater security and easy connection. What are the advantages? WPA3 will bring many security advantages over WPA2, but not just that. Manufacturers will need to implement certain features to actually advertise their products as WPA3 compatible, and the compatibility with WPA2 will remain. WPA3 will solve this issue by encrypting your data with a system called Wi-Fi Certified Enhanced Open. Whenever you connect to a public network, even if you didn't type in a password, your data is secure. Increased protection. As WPA2 has been found to be vulnerable against certain types of attacks, WPA3 will try to protect against them. Even if the user has set a password that is too weak, WPA3 will take care of it and protect him against brute force attacks, for example, attacks that try to guess the password via multiple attempts. Simplified connection. Wi-Fi certified Easy Connect will also arrive with WPA3. This system is meant for devices with a limited interface or no display at all, like Google Home or even the Amazon Echo. For those devices, you can scan a QR code and easily connect them to a new network without ever typing in a password. When are we going to see WPA3 devices? Devices can already be certified with WPA3 and manufacturers are already starting to implement it in their new chips, like Qualcomm for example. And manufacturers should even be able to implement WPA3 support in existing products via a software update. But let's be honest, if a hardware certification needs to take place, we're not gonna see any updates. And remember, if your router supports WPA3, all your other devices need to support it too. Otherwise, they're gonna connect via WPA2. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you're always up to date for our new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.